Hello, I'm Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install DNS by using PowerShell. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install and configure DNS just using PowerShell commands. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our PowerShell. Now you always want to make sure when you open PowerShell that you see the word administrator along the top. If for some reason you are logged in with any other user besides the administrator, make sure that you right click on PowerShell and then say run as administrator. Now, once you're inside the PowerShell window, what we need to do is we need to see if DNS is already installed on this server or not. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type in get Windows feature. Now, here's the nice thing about this. You can type in get Windows, for example, and hit the tab key. And by hitting the tab key, it will finish the statements for you. So I can keep hitting tab until I get to the command that I want which is get Windows feature. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the feature that I'm looking to see if it's installed or not. And the feature we're looking to see is DNS. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a wildcard and I'm gonna put in DNS and a wildcard. Now it's gonna show me any of the features on this system that can be run or used with DNS, any of the PowerShell commands. So since the get windows feature and I did DNS, it shows that DNS is not installed. If it was installed, there would be an X next to both of these. So now that I know that DNS isn't installed, I can go ahead and get ready to install it. Now, the way that I'm going to install DNS is I'm going to add a windows feature where I went in and I did get windows feature to see if the feature was installed now i'm going to add the windows feature so i'm going to type in add and again i can start by just typing in wind and then hit the tab key and keep tabbing until you get to the command you want add windows feature the nice thing about the tab command is that it helps you with spelling so for example if i'm going to say dash nam and I want it to be name, I just hit tab and it fills it in for me. I'm going to choose to install DNS and the command to install it, here's up top where you see name, it says DNS, so that's all I need to put in. So the name is DNS and I'm gonna make sure that I include the management tools and this way it'll allow me to manage DNS from this system. So. The first thing I did was check to see if DNS was installed by doing a get windows feature name with DNS. Once I knew it wasn't installed, I can then do my add windows feature to install it. So I'm going to hit enter and at this point it's going to go through and it's going to install DNS onto this server. Now after DNS is installed, what we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure that the DNS management tools are on this box. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up a zone. Now, as you can see, it shows that we do not have a static IP address. We will install a static IP address onto this box so that DNS can be used properly. And that should be done beforehand. It makes it easy so you don't have to worry about seeing that issue. But you can see that DNS success did install. And if I do a get windows feature again, you'll see that DNS now has an X next to both utilities. So we can go ahead and we can go in and type run. And then once I type run, I'm just gonna do DNS mgmt.msc. And that is going to bring up the DNS management utility. So you can see at this point, the DNS management utility, DNS manager is installed. But we don't have any zones. We don't have a forward lookup zone. We don't have a reverse lookup zone. So the next thing that we're gonna do 
is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a forward lookup zone. Now, to do that, you have to add a DNS zone. If you're not sure what the command is to add the zone, what you can do is you can always use your help. So if I think that the command is DNS server, because I'm going to be putting this on the server, but I'm not sure about the rest of the command, I can use wildcards. And by using wildcards, it will show you all of the possible commands. So if I go down, it shows here I can add resource records, which we will do. And we can also set up forwards. We can set up zone delegation. And if I go down, you can see here, add DNS server primary zone. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a primary zone. So I'm going to use that command. So this is going to be DNS server. And I only have to start typing in the first part of it and hit tab. And again, it fills out the rest. Then you have to put in the name of your zone. And the name of our zone is going to be willpanic.com. Then what I need to do is I need to put in what the name of the zone file is going to be, what the DNS zone file is going to be. So I'm going to type in the word zone file, and that's what we're going to put in, and it's going to be willpanic.com.dns, and that's going to be the name of our zone. Then I can tell it if I want it to allow for dynamic updates or not. Now, one thing that I want to show, I didn't notice this when I first came out, but you notice here that we have a lower bar on the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to remove that. I don't want to see the command continue to go off onto the right. So I'm going to change my layout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my layout so that I don't have to worry about having a bottom bar. All right, and as you can see, I now have a setup here to where I no longer have a bottom bar. So when I say OK, now what's going to happen is as I type in the rest of the command, it's just going to scroll the command down, and I won't have to worry about scrolling over. So I put in the zone file name, and then what I want to do is I'm going to set up the dynamic updates. And I'm going to set the dynamic updates to be non-secure and secure. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and set up my dynamic updates. And it's going to be for non-secure and secure. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And if as long as everything's typed in OK, you'll now see you'll just go back to a normal PowerShell command line. Now, let's go ahead and let's open up our DNS manager. And as you can see, we now have a forward lookup zone for Will Panic. So our commands have been working properly. Now what I want to do is I'm going to set up a reverse lookup zone. And the way you're going to do this is when you set up the new primary zone, you're going to set up a network ID and you're going to put in a zone file. And when you put in that zone file, you have to put it in so that it's backwards from the IP address. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to type in an IP config and I'm going to take a look. So our IP address is 192.168.140. So our zone file goes from right to left. So it's going to be 140.168.192. So now we're going to go ahead and type in our command. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a DNS server primary zone. So I'm going to go ahead and just tab until I get to my primary zone. All right. And after I put in my primary zone, I'm going to set up my network ID, and my network ID is going to be 
dot one forty dot zero slash twenty four. That's the network that we're on. And now I'm going to put in what my zone file is going to be. So again, I'm going to put in zone file and it's going to be reversed. So it's going to be 140.168.192. And then you're going to do a period and it's in address ARPA. And the way that looks is it's IN dash ADDR for your address dot and then it's going to be ARPA.DNS. And that's going to be our reverse zone. So when I hit enter, you notice it goes right back to a prompt. So again, if I go out to my DNS manager, you can now see that I have a reverse lookup zone. And we added these zones and we put the names in for the zones. So if you'd like, we can go out and check that. We can go out to the Windows directory. So we're going to go to this PC. We're going to go into the Windows directory. And then once I get into the Windows directory, I'm going to go to the System32 drive. I'm sorry, the System32 folder. And then we're going to go to DNS. So here's DNS. I open it up. Here is my reverse lookup file. And here is the forward lookup file. There's both files that I created. Then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to add a resource record. So I'm going to add a resource record for a machine just called client123. And I'm going to put it inside of my willpanic.com zone. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to add a DNS server resource record. So it's going to be add. I'm going to put in DNS server. It's going to be a resource record. I'll hit tab. So I'm going to get to resource record and it's going to be a resource record for an A record. So I hit tab again and the A record comes up. Then I got to put in the name of the machine. So it's going to be client 123. Then what I got to do is I got to put it in to which zone file I'm going to be putting this into. So it's going to be zone name and it's going to be willpanic.com. That's the zone, that's the database that we're putting it into. Now I'm also going to tell it to allow updates from any machine so this way, if client123 logs in, it can change this file. And I'm going to set the current IP address. All right, so it's going to be IP4 address to 192.168.140. And let's just pick uh, 200. And I'm also going to tell it to create a PTR record. That's a reverse lookup record. So I'm going to hit enter. I went back to a prompt. So at this point, I can clear this out. I can close PowerShell. We can go into our DNS manager. And as you can see, when I go into Will Panic, here's client 123, and there's the IP address I gave it to it. And we should make sure that we have a reverse lookup record. There it is right there for client 123. So, by using PowerShell, we installed DNS, we then created the zone for DNS, and then we added a resource record. In this video, I showed you how to install and configure DNS by using strictly PowerShell. I am Cybex author William Panic. Thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you in a class real soon.